Hey, it's Oz here, and in today's video, I'm going to give you five steps to boost your domain authority. Okay, so domain authority, as you well know, is going to help you rank for more competitive terms. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that domain authority is not something that Google came up with. Instead, it's something that a company called Moz came up with. So keep in mind that it's Moz's own metrics. In other words, the things that they think affect how powerful your domain is, is what determines ultimately your domain authority. It's not a Google metric. That said, domain authority is the best way that we have to gauge how powerful or how important a domain name is. Moz have done an excellent job, of course, and testament to that is the fact that you and I, as well as every SEO and everybody else, uses the main authority to gauge the domain value. Now, before the main authority, we had PageRank, which was a Google metric, but they did away with that a few years ago. So this, in a way, is a replacement. Okay, so the first thing to do is to check your current domain authority. In order to measure how well we're doing with regards of where we want to go, we need to know where we are right now. So the first thing to do is to check DA. And the easiest way to do this is to simply go to your browser of choice and in the search bar, just type in Open Site Explorer and then hit enter and you'll see the results page where you'll note that all the top results are from Moz. So just click on the first result or the one that makes sense and that will take you to this page, which is Moz's Domain Authority Checker as in the tool. So here you would enter any domain name, whether it's your own domain name or somebody else's domain name that you want to check, and then you hit the search button. Okay, so I'm gonna type in a domain name there as an example. I'm gonna actually type in moz.com, why not? So I hit the search button and this is the result. Moz's domain authority is 94 out of 100. I should have mentioned that they measure domain authority from one to 100 in what they call an algorithmic way. In other words, it's gonna be a lot easier to go from one to 10 than it is from, let's say for example, 70 to 80, because those increments are not the same. The higher up the scale that you get, the wider those metrics are apart. So Moz has a 94 domain authority. For them to get to 95, they're going to have to work very hard, put it that way. Now this tool also shows you the page authority and that relates to the page relevant to the domain name that you enter there. So for example, if you entered your own domain name on one of your pages, let's say for example, the about us page, if you have one, then this tool will show you the page authority of that page. And page authority in this case is the same as domain authority in as much as it's a way to gauge how important or how authoritarian that page is. And generally, the more authority that you have, whether it is on your domain or on your page, the better the ability you have to rank for more competitive terms. This tool also shows you how many root domains are linking to you and the total number of links that point to you because backlinks are the primary driver of domain and page authority. Okay, so this is the first step. We find out where we are right now. And of course, make a note of that. I use a spreadsheet for this. I put a date next to the metric, and I usually check back with this tool maybe once a month, maybe twice a month. Keep in mind that the main authority is going to obviously rise quicker when you're at the bottom end of the scale, but it's not in real time. So let's say you get one good link pointing to your website, then it's going to take some time for that to reflect on your domain authority. And that's why I usually only check on this tool once a month. Okay, so let's head on back to our list and now let's look at step number two, and that is to perform a link audit. Now, the reason for this is because some of the links that you already have pointing at your website may be dragging you down. Since the main authority and page authority is mostly about backlinks, then it stands to reason that if you have some poor bad links, those are going to stop you from increasing your domain authority or at the very least, they'll be slowing you down. So the thing to do at this point is to find out what links you have in your link profile and determine which ones are 
poor or suspect. Okay, so let's head on over to our browser of choice again. And this time, simply search for SEM Rush Backlink Checker. And this is one link audit tool that will help you with this. So I'm going to skip all the ads. You can see that the top searches here are all ads. And I'm going to go to the first organic result, which you can see here is the link checker. So I'm going to click on that and that's going to take me to the relevant page. And all you do here is you enter your domain name, click on the try it button. And keep in mind that they may change the text on that button. So it's called try it now. It could be called go tomorrow. So just hit the button that you see. Now on this page, if you scroll down, you'll see a lot of information showing you how the tool actually works. And it also walks you through why you need to do a link audit. Now, let me just point out that you do need a account to run this tool. Let me just type in moz.com to show you what happens when I click the button. You'll get this sign up form. SEM Rush do have paid plans, of course, for all their tools, but they do offer some free use of some of their tools. So you can sign up without having to pay anything and then you'll have a free account which, as I say, will give you limited access to some of their tools. Of course, if this is a tool that you find useful and you actually sign up to one of their paid plans, then you'll be able to do these link audits pretty much on demand. OK, so another great link audit tool that I like to use is by Majestic. So if you type in Majestic SEO into a Google search, you'll see the website and the URL is actually Majestic.com. Now, if you type in a domain name in there, like moz.com, what you see here is a lot of information about the links that point to this website. Again, this tool has paid plans. It's not free for these companies to collate this amount of information and certainly to host services like this. So, of course, they have paid plans, but they do usually let users try the tools within a limited environment for free and you can gain some good information from this. Now, as you can see, I'm scrolling down the page and there is just a ton of information about these links. And keep in mind that I'm not logged in, so I'm seeing a limited set of data. If you log in, and again, you can create a free account. If you can log in, then you'll get better data. Now, you'll notice here at the very top that there are different links and this is actually to help you filter the right data. So here where you see backlinks, if you click on that, this takes you to Majestic's own Site Explorer, which is one of their tools. And this is the tool that shows you metrics for your incoming links. Now with either this tool or Moz's tool, you'll be able to then see how they gauge those incoming links. And you'll see from the scores that they give to those links, which are poor links and even bad links. OK, so at this point, once you know which links are suspect or even plain bad, then go back to our list. Step three is to disavow those poor links. And that basically means letting Google know that you do not want those links counted as part of your link profile. Now, to do this, all you're going to do is do a search for Google disavow tool. And you'll notice that this is in Google Webmaster Tools, which is now, of course, called Google Search Console. So you need to have a Google Search Console account. And within that account, you can go to the disavow tool and type in or paste each link that you want to discount. Now, they do change their interface around. So the best thing to do once you log into your Google Search Console is to go to a Google search page, type in Google disavow tool, and then click on one of these links. When you click on one of these links, as long as you logged into your Google Search Console account, the link will take you straight to the right page. Now, let me mention, by the way, that I'll put links to all these things in the description, so you don't have to keep a note of this and you don't have to guess. You just look in the description under this video and you'll have all the links to all the things that I'm talking about. OK, so let's go back to our list and do a quick recap. We checked our current domain authority to see where we are. Then we performed a link audit using 
a link audit tool like Majestic's tool or Moz's tool. And of course, there are other tools that do link audits. These are just the two tools that I like. Once you perform the link audit and you identify the poor links or the suspect links, log into your Google Search Console account and use the disavow tool to discount those links. So these three steps are about first determining where you are and then removing or getting rid of the garbage links. What we do from this point on to boost the main authority is to go and get new links. Now, I don't recommend going to a dollar marketplace and buying links. And if you don't have any experience with link building, don't be swayed by words like high authority links and so on. Just don't buy those cheap dollar links because they're going to probably harm your website. Unless you know what you're doing, of course, but in most cases, those are going to be poor or bad links. Okay, so the safest way to do this, unfortunately, is to publish good content. Is it hard work? Yes, it is. But you know, I'm in the same boat. So it is what it is. Essentially, you have to create good content that your intended audience would enjoy. And then if we go to step five, you distribute that content in order to earn backlinks. Use social media platforms, forums, and anywhere where your potential audience hangs out and distribute your content there. For example, if you're using social media and you write a article on how to boost your domain authority, then you could tweet a small useful tidbit and then link back to the full article. And you would repeat this method across all the social media platforms that you want to use. Now, forums can be a great way not just to drive traffic back to your pages, but also to get good links. In particular forums where people are asking questions, if you can weigh in and provide some value with an answer, then as long as it's appropriate, you could provide a link back to your article for a more in-depth answer. And if you keep doing step number four and five over and over again, then over time, you're going to build a lot of backlinks back to your content. And hopefully also you'll get a lot of shares and likes, which translate into social signals which also helps your domain authority. So that's the five step plan. Keep in mind, of course, that it doesn't happen overnight, but the other side of the coin is that it's exactly the same for everybody else. So as I said at the beginning, check the description for a link to each of these things that I've spoken about, and also check out the link to my article, which covers all this in a bit more depth and also has a few extra tips to help you improve your domain authority. I hope you found this useful. While you're here, please subscribe to the channel and that way you can keep up to date with all this content. Thank you for watching, take it easy, and I shall catch you in the next video.